Oh yeah, yeah, I'm back again. A little while, a little while this time, but uh, I'm back. Uh, so get worried. Uh, anyway, this time, just want to show you this little single band regen radio I built. Um, it's from a circuit I found on the internet. Um, and it's, I've just done it for 40 meters. 7 megs and um, it works really well it's got nice fine tuning on it it uses a very cap tuning so it's got a 10 turn uh, potentiometer which does tunes a 40 meter band so you've got 10 turns covering the 40 meter band which is quite good so let me just uh, yeah anyway that's just a net going on 40 meters it's um just gone half five in the evening and uh yeah uh but um I wound the coil south as you can probably see uh, it looks a bit of a mess but it's not too bad it's on a bit of PVC uh, tube hose pipe stuff you know plastic tube um, there's two coils L1 and L2 in the circuit and uh, um, anyway uh, L2 obviously well you, you got to get the right amount of turns to get for, for the uh, the band you want to cover um, but anyway this it had the turns already on the um, in the you know in the uh, diagram so uh, anyway I've done it got the, and uh, yeah it worked straight away really um, to, to cover right to the end of 40 meter band what I've done a little mod to it <laughs> as I do um, I put a little nylon um, there's a little nylon nut there which I hot glued into the top of the uh, the former where the coil is and uh, I've got a steel screw that obviously fits that nut and I can just turn that down in into the coil and obviously that increases the uh, um, increase or lower, lowers the inductance and in, increases the frequency and uh, I can get to the, uh, I can fine tune it to get to the top of the 40 meter band, uh, you know, 7.2 megs. And there's a little uh, trimmer cap on there anyway, which uh, uh, brings it in range. But uh, just for fine tuning, I added that little screw on top, and that's quite works quite well. Nice. Um, I also added a little. Uh, preamp there, a little LM386 amplifier preamp which goes to the uh, jack socket on the back and that feeds my uh, that's a bench, a bench amplifier I made, test amp and that's got a preamp in there one of the same amplifier as that in there as well as the main uh, amplifier just about 2 watts or something like that and so it's got plenty of gain, which is handy, for, handy for uh, signal tracing. And uh, and uh, I've got another radio here I made, which is that one. That one, that one hasn't got any preamp in it, so it's very low, uh, low output. But into that amplifier, it uh, it works fine because it's got the gain on the amp. But I may put, I may put one of these little lamps preamps into into this one as well they run off the um the nine volt battery only use a few milliamps so uh you know it wouldn't wouldn't drain the uh, nine volt battery too uh, quickly you know but anyway uh, yeah so i just love the fine tuning on it it's, it's just like 
tuning a really expensive, you know, sideband receiver, you know, which has got very fine uh, tuning, you know. But th this only uses two transistors, two M double two double twos, one there, and uh, one there. Um, and then the other bits, you can see there's not a lot to it, but the, uh, yeah, the actual design is it's called the Sputnik, and it's on the internet, um, you know, and uh, I found it on Pinterest, but, uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd have a go at making it, and, uh, yeah, really pleased with it, but you can wind different coils to cover the different bands, you know. I have made another one, which is over here, which is in the prototype stage, and that it's got a 20 meter coil on it. I um, I sort of did it by trial and error to get it to 20 meters. But there is um, there is a software program on you can get for the Windows that will calculate the amount of turns you need for a you know the size of form that you're using and uh, all that sort of thing. You know all the technical stuff. But anyway. But uh, yeah, that, that one actually does receive the 20 meter band and I've had stuff on it, but it doesn't seem to come in very strong at the moment. So uh, a little bit more work needed on that one, but but this one there yeah, works really well. Um, I'll, just, uh, I'll just tune up the band a bit, just so you, uh, you can have a listen there. As you can see, the tuning is very nice and fine, and works really well. Um, <coughs> it uses um, a couple of diodes there, and um, just out and you out the potential to the diodes with the um, you know with the 10k. Uh, tuning potential there, 10 turn one and um and that in turn alters the uh the voltage to the capacitor I, th I think that's how it works I i'm not too sure really but anyway it's very cap you know so it's variable capacitance but using uh potential but it's, it's, it's certainly good because it's a job to get hold of um uh variable capacitors with a fine tuning feature on them you know slow motion drive gun i've made one that, i mean these ones i've made I, I made my own fine tuning on this one so if you turn that you can see that's quite that's quite fine tuning on there um i made that with you know the cut the pulleys inside and uh and dial string and all that sort of thing you know but um but yeah I, I like this idea with a 10 turn pot there very good um, oh. as you can see it's very nice and easy to tune and considering it's a regen radio it's quite amazing so anyway i just thought i'd show you that the latest in the uh lineup but um yeah i've I think the guy's got it all detailed on the internet anyway. And uh but certainly good if you got a couple of transistors lying around <laughs> to end uh, you probably use you could probably use a BC one eight two I I don't know really. Um but two N double two double twos they're quite high gain I think so but they do work well and uh yeah it all runs off the nine volt PP three. I just stuck a little lead on there just to show when it's on, you know, so I don't leave it on. And I've got quite a high resistance feed feeding that 
LED. So uh, it hardly uses any current really. So I don't want to drain a lot of current using a, just lighting up an LED, you know, and the radio doesn't hardly use any at all, you know. And that, that little uh, preamp uses about 15 milliamps, something like that, 15, 20. But I worked it out on that uh, PP3, you should get about 20 odd hours of continuous use, you know, out of it. So it's not bad, really, I suppose, for a PP3 uh, battery, alkaline. Yeah, there you go. So, um, right. So um, yeah, there you go. Um, that, that amplifier I built, test amp from my bench, is a, is the uh, amplifier stage out of a, an old Bush radio I had, which wasn't any good the radio. So I just kept the amplifier and the speaker out of it, and stuck one of these little preamps in there as well. You know, so it's got plenty of gain. I've got different inputs on it, you know, the uh, BNC uh, jack, you know, three and a half mil jack, which is what I'm using at the moment, and a couple of banana sockets. Um, yeah, and it's got tone on it as well. Maybe <laughs> not very great uh, at this time. Maybe it will improve uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, then. Yeah, I've got two volume controls on there because one does the preamp and one does the main amp. So when I'm using like this radio here, which hasn't got a lot of output, I need the preamp up quite high and then uh, control it with the main amp. But you know, so it's quite versatile, really. Right, <laughs> I think that's enough waffle about this. Anyway, there you go. So uh, I told you what I'd be back, wouldn't I? With something different. Well, fairly different anyway. So, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's it really. So I'll carry on listening now. And uh, this is G7ILP saying bye for now.